Nice. Can you hear this beep noise? It's my heating. We turned on the heating for the second day this year. I mean, after winter, after summer. This was our second time turning on the heater. You always make this noise. I thought about having someone to check and repair this, but I always just hesitated. I mean, didn't want to bother, you know. I got to stay at home and wait for somebody. I didn't want to stay at home during the day. I just want to be outside. I went to the gym in the afternoon earlier. I did shoulder again. I did shoulder by myself yesterday. And today my friend asked me if I want to work out together. Um, I definitely said yes. I always say yes to work out. It is just best activity to do with friends. We both can, you know, push each other and talk about whatever. It serves as a social and exercise purpose. This morning I was at the Starbucks. I tried to talk about my current situation. I have actually written some scripts for that and I have used the AI on the Notion apps so I'm gonna just use it and talk about it again because that video was interrupted multiple times and I wasn't able to actually talk about stuff so Basically, I have felt this for a few days. I feel like I need to use my time more wisely. Since I have the ultimate freedom to my time, I don't work anywhere. I don't have any responsibility. I can literally plan my time however I like. I can wake up whatever time I want. I can go to sleep whenever I want. I can even, you know, just have that freedom to, I don't know, like go anywhere. Probably not somewhere really far, like out of the country. At this point, I don't want to travel that far, but I'm just saying like I got all this freedom. But the problem is I can't really focus on things like reading. For example, I was in my car after workout. I needed to wait for my mom a little bit and I decided to just stay in my car and read this new book I just got by Debbie Hawkins, Power vs. Force. I read his other book, Letting Go, on my shelf. You probably can't really see it. The yellow cover, very similar design. That was my favorite book, hands down. And this one, I just started reading, but the problem is, I fell asleep. When I was reading it, I can't understand it you know, the very first forward, I was reading this one, but I fell asleep quite a bit, like a few times. I realized, oh my goodness, I'm falling asleep. I'm sleeping. And that just really frustrates me so much. Like I'm trying to read and I have such a strong desire to understand this book, but I just couldn't even simply you know, stay awake and focused. There are many re reasons, I believe, you know, just physically, I might be too tired. You know, I just did a workout and it's already like almost five back then. And I didn't take a nap today, although I slept like nine hours last night. So anyway, 
I can talk more about that, but not right now. I'm just saying, throughout the day, I got all this time to myself that I can plan to do whatever that I feel like to do. And I always feel like reading more, but it was just a knowledge. But I, when I actually carry out, you know, execute on this, I couldn't really be very effective. That's what frustrates me the most. Maybe I'm not reading the right book, but I believe there's no right or wrong book, right? I want to read all kinds of books, so I'd be not be closed-minded, you know. Um, I've always read like books about spirituality and you know just personal development, self-help. And you know psychology books like that always interest me interest me the most, but I always know I need to read in a wider range. I cannot just only read what I interest about. You know, if I want to be a better speaker, I have to understand more and actually break out of my. Biased mind. So yeah, that's the problem for me. And I feel like I need to improve my writing skills as well. I've tried written journals for like a few months, you know, with the Notion app. I've done it for like, let me see. So last one I did was. Back in September, I was in Hangzhou with my grandparents and my parents, traveling. September twenty fifth, and I did it since、um, August twentieth. Yeah, so it was like a month. Yeah, I thought I did longer, but yeah, I only did it like for a month. And before that, before August twenty twenty three. I did it in twenty twenty two. Twenty twenty two. I did it for like, you know, probably fifteen entries. You know, for fifteen days in January. In January, after I have made those goals for the year of twenty twenty two, and I gave up on January eighteenth. And yeah, before that. I did in 2021. I only did it for three days. Anyway, my point is, I want to keep this writing habit, and so I can improve on writing. Like speaking, I have so many ideas scattered around my mind, but when I actually take out a pen and try to write them down, it just sounds so superficial. Right, like shallow. I can't really go too deep, and often I just lose my patience very easily. I don't want to keep writing anymore, and I want to do anything else, but not just writing. I guess I have to work on that. If I don't really write, I'd be never be better. I always say. That to myself. If I don't do certain things, I would never be better at doing that, right? Um, yeah. I promise myself I'll write more. I'll write more. And now I have tried、uh, using the Notion AI to help me to write. And you know, you can just type that. That was my okay. And then you type just space, and then it will pop out a window. Showing you many options, like write with AI. You can generate many things, like summarize from what you read, well, from what you wrote, and、uh, you can ask it to improve writing for you, like fix spelling and grammar. And you can also ask、uh, to get more, like ideas, brainstorm ideas, or just like write longer. You know, simplify language. Many options. Very fantastic tool. 
So I'm definitely using that to help me to learn writing more effectively. And the other thing is I want to definitely improve my speaking ability, not just in making speeches or dialogues or having monologues like this kind of videos, but I want to also improve my skills in communicating with the other person, but not excuse. The problem is I don't have anyone to talk to. I thought of maybe I can just find someone to talk to online. I saw some, you know, content creators who actually screen record their conversations with just random people on the internet. And I don't know how to do it, but I will figure it out. I will just definitely try to actually have conversations with real people and have conversations. I want to improve my speaking skills so badly. And yeah, so that's it. That's everything. Hold up. I'm going to just allow myself to take some time and see if I got anything else that I want to share here. Yeah, it was a cold day. Um, I did pretty well on screen time today, I think. I didn't really use my phone too much. Let me see. It's almost six o'clock. My dad and my mom is cooking. Very blessed life. My mom just bought some beef. I asked her that I wanted to have some beef. I feel like eating some beef. Yeah, anyway, so 45 minutes for today. And among that 45 minutes, I've spent 30 minutes on WeChat and four minutes on camera. Oh, I was recording myself falling asleep in the morning, I was trying to read and I was so tired just on the, on the, on the, on the, on the seat. I was falling asleep and I want to see what I was like and how many seconds I actually fell asleep, you know. And I found out I fell asleep in like probably 12 seconds holding my book. Um, yeah. My mom got the same problem. I think we just had lower energy, like our, for biological reason, we tend to fall asleep more easily, like during the day, but during the night, it's actually the opposite. We tend to fall asleep with more difficulty. Yeah, I don't know how, to explain this, but this is just my assumption. Like, um, hmm. I actually don't know how to explain this, but that's my challenge. If I got really something that I want to work on, very clearly, I will have more energy during the day. I will be able to stay focused and just working on that. But if I don't have anything that I know for sure that I want to get it done, just like today, like my general goal is to read some books and upload some videos. I don't even have a number. I don't have a quantity to measure that, right? So that's the problem. Anyway, I'm going to take a break before dinner. Yeah. Thanks for listening and watching this video. I'll see you soon. Bye.